I sell food from no, ye call as ye to and cra, and near for your mosher, a year above from town, dear so. A year Ministry of Communication and Digitization, Omone or a quire from a poster and courier service regulatory commission. I then to my dear dear dear, ever boy, I'm a ready for. Omani abris on Medijano, or my father for Quanswo, a dear Edija, now boam on my gun, I ready at me adrechity. Ebeboa ama edwedie etumi akoso ewo abefu kwanso na omangana ya somo ebedwe ewo edwedie mu na aboha ama inwuma etimi apienti ene namso ama mpenfo edi sai dwumedie ehyehye so na dwumedie na se ene oso afo ohwe enkrato so ene abefu kwanso exla owusu ekufu edi na paso ene okasa se emfaso ewo saa ehyehye mu edi ebeyi na ebeboa ama edwedie akoso ewo abefu kwanso se ene ochire mu to venture an answer what is different this time around is the mindset. The current twin challenges of COVID aftershocks and the effects of the Russia-Ukraine war on the global economy also present us a unique opportunity for us to realize that our destiny is in our own hands. And by looking within the continent to deepen our linkages, we can truly change the narrative and be truly self-sufficient. We need it. All the ingredients for our success lie right in front of us, and we can't afford to fail. Digital technology provides us with the means to achieve this objective this time around. We didn't have that before. We keep talking about the fourth industrial revolution, and it provides us with a key, a means, a tool to lift the entire continent out of poverty. And so we're pushing forward with AFTA with our eyes wide open, fully aware of past dashed hopes and the pitfalls of globalization. We're moving forward with AFTA, knowing full well that without effort to truly bring down the barriers obstructing integration across Africa, we'll get nowhere. We're pressing forward in the clear knowledge that trade takes capacity and know-how. And so we're launching the After Hub in Ghana today because we've carefully thought through these matters and woven together a strategy that is both aware and cognizant of our history and future focused. In Semuno, to try for penny a day ma after a year, one cake money, and so Cassia or Chile say, Sir, as you say, I'm Modi Abe, and for so Mupa, Nebabo, I'm a dreadly apija, and also say, and which you move. The Africa we want. When it looks and talks about the digital transformation of this continent, there are four key things that they espouse that they talk about. One, that digitization will improve the quality of our people, to strengthen the economy in this continent, to enable diversification and the development of our economies. Fourthly, to ensure that this continent is no longer just a consumer but a big player in the production of goods and services globally. Therefore, the creation of the AFCFTA, Africa Continental Free Trade Area. I know some people call us CFTA, some people call us a couple of acronyms. But just remember that we are the hub and the engine of what will be the biggest single market globally. One hour by year, and she would be an assay, a bachelor, one hour dream be, and so a cassa edifice. I say, yeah, a baffle, a babua, a ma, a dead year, and so a timmy apijamu, a woman, a monso saying almost so a trauma. I dream for information on trade in Africa because when it's easier for me to find out what is happening in China, what is happening in the American market, what's happening in Asia, even on the internet, but it's more difficult to find out what is happening in the East African market. On the South African market, or on, on in, in the northern markets, you know, when you go onto the internet, the data is either not there or is not up to date, and the linkages are very, very, uh, how do you say, uh, not reliable. And so, we think that this effort is one of the key issues. Without information, after stands a risk of grinding to a halt. <laughs> 